All right, guys, welcome back for episode number two, chapter one. <laughs> Military Seal of Command. All right. So this is just my personal opinion. I'm just a guy that worked on ships with MSC and the Navy and been around MSC for almost 20 years combined service. So I wanted to kind of go over some of the factual details and what are the things that are most important to you, the good, the bad, the ugly. And today for episode number two, chapter number one, because there's going to be four chapters to put this one, is the people. With Military Seal of Command, typically I put people into four buckets. And this is just my personal opinion. But bucket number one, we have the ladder climbers. The ladder climbers are people that go into federal service to work their way up the corporate ladder, to get the next position, to move on and on and on and on. And they are, they're going to do every job to the best of their ability. But they have no intention on doing that job one day longer than they have to so they can get the next promotion to the next promotion to the next promotion. And that is most classic with our shoreside personnel. Um, the people that come in to military sea lift command in a shoreside position, they know that they could start out as a GS-5 and then go to a 6, and then to a 7, then to an 8, and they will leave out of MSC in a heartbeat if they have an opportunity elsewhere. And that's how the GS ratings work with Military Sea Lift Command and with federal employment. And it sucks. The other ladder climbers are a lot of the young officers. <laughs> and no bag on them. You know, they just went to college and specialized in their job field for the last four years. But Military Sea Lift Command doesn't give you a whole lot of time off compared to the outside Mariner world. Outside Mariner world, once you get so much seniority in the Union... You go to work when you want to. You don't have to, hey, 30 days, time to come back. You know, all that kind of stuff. They get a lot more quality time at home. So a lot of them are like, you know what? I got college loans to pay off. I got to do this, this, and this. Like every millennial in the world, they are here to make some money, pay off their debts, and move on. And a lot of them want to get their master's license as soon as possible. Well, MSC is a great place to come in Work your way up the ladder, get a lot of deck experience, a lot of ship handling experience, which that's what those corporate jobs out in the civilian world are going to want, is how many years of ship handling experience do you have? And I've been driving ships for umpteen years, and then that's a good way to move on. And they get better quality of time off, better pensions, better, 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 better than what MSC offers. And MSC, this federal employment, offers some great stuff, but... It's a lot better on the outside. So that is the ladder climbers. Those are the first uh, aspect of what I wanted to talk to you guys about. But, you know, I I haven't been on MSC's website in almost a year. I, I, I've known I was leaving MSC. I used up all my sick leave, all my time off. Every cop hour I had saved, I used it all. But today, I brought up the MSC website for the first time. And you guys could go here too. It's sealiftcommand.com. And this is who MSC is hiring right now. Now, typically, this tells you a lot about the, where Military Sealift Command is. So they are now hiring first officers. First officers, mixed work schedule. Now, the first officer... That's the number two guy in charge of the ship. <laughs> For driving the ship, there's Captain the First Officer. Military Sea Lift Command is so desperate right now for officers that they're not even promoting within. They're they're going, oh, we got all these people that would be probably great first officers, but no, they're not ready yet. Let's go see if we can find some out in the civilian world that want to come into federal service. But the, the problem with that whole idea, and it's one of the biggest shit shows that you see, is you get people that'll come in as a first officer, or maybe they were even a master when they were sailing out in the commercial world. And they come, and they know how to handle ships. They know how to drive. They know how to lead and manage people, and they got that aspect down. But with military SEAL command, there's a whole nother can of worms. It's federal employment. You got EEO stuff. You got SMS, 
which is uh, material safety management systems. You, you got so many other things that you have to learn about. And a lot of the guys that come, they come in and they're like, screw all this. I mean, you're the force protection officer. You're doing all these other things that you don't have to worry about uh, on top of the Coast Guard stuff that you don't have to worry about in the commercial world. So that's that. So we said first officers, second officers, those are the navigators of the ship, third officers, entry level officers, damage control officers, assistant damage control officers, operations chiefs, able body seamen, able body seamen mixed work schedule, first assistant engineers, first assistant mixed, second assistant engineers, third assistant engineers, electricians, refrigeration engineers, deck engineering machinists. Unlicensed junior engineers, pumpmen, electronics technicians, yeomen, chief stewards. That's who runs the galley. The steward cooks, the chief cooks, the second cooks, the cook bakers, the communication officers, the RETs, the radio electronics technicians, the chiefs, the entry level chiefs, or the entry level electronics technicians, first radio electronics technicians medical service officers, and any and all entry-level positions. That right there shows you that Manning is a hot mess right now. And with COVID, it's no wonder why. If people could retire, they punched out. If they had enough time on the clock, a lot of them are like, it's a good time to retire. I had enough of this. Because with COVID restrictions and everything else that happened that are still kind of rolling on in some parts of the world, you know, if you're a ladder climber, come to MSC. It's a perfect time to be here. You'll get your promotions. You'll get your experience. You'll move up the chain of command. And then you can beat feet and go on somewhere else. <laughs> oh, that's personality number one. Let's go into chapter two. <laughs> Make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, and leave your comments below. I've tried to cut my